Hey guys, welcome to my channel Vintage Games. On today's video I'm going to show you how to survive in the cold temperature in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So as you can see here, I'm in this uh, very cold environment where uh, it's too cold for Link to survive and he's losing energy so what we need to do is need to get out of this area and uh, go find yourself some hot food. Uh, and the uh, hot food to survive in cold temperature is, are some hot peppers and you can find them in this area. Uh, this is a uh, in the Great Plateau. This is a part of the game where you you know start off. You you come here early on in the game. So yeah, there we are. The peppers, spicy peppers are called. What we need to do is we need to cook these spicy peppers. Um, the problem I'm having right here is uh, it's raining. So normally you would cook it here. Uh, there'd be a fireplace here already set up. But later on in the game, you know, this is a moment where it was raining and uh, I tried to make a fire using a flint but because it's raining you're gonna see what happens when you try to make a fire using flint and wood uh, normally you use flint and wood and you just hit the flint and it would set on fire but as you can see there it just sparkled um, yeah it, it didn't do anything you, you can all, normally you can just shoot a bomb arrow as well and normally the bomb arrow would explode but here you can go pick it up and try it again but because it's raining, the bomb arrow has no effect. So, yeah, that's how detailed this game is. You know, when it's raining, you can't make a fire. Even with bomb arrows, um, you have to wait for the rain to stop. So, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to wait for the rain to stop. I'm just going to fast travel to a different area where there's a fire already set up for me. So, here I am in Kakariko Village. I'm going to get the spicy peppers. I'm going to hold five of them, and I'm going to cook them. So this is what happens, you get 12 minutes of 30, 12 minute 30 seconds of resistance time. I'm gonna cook another two more and uh, depending on how many you cook you get different time. So with two you only get five minutes. With uh, with five peppers you get 12 minute 30 seconds. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fast travel to the mountains. Uh, it's a Heteneo, oh, I can't remember how you pronounce it. But yeah, you, I'm just gonna test it in the mountains. Um, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just show you that the, the hot food doesn't always work in certain areas. Yeah, in the early on in the game, you'll come across some cold environments. It does work in uh, certain areas, the resistance. Um, but here in the mountain area of, I think it's called Le Leneiru, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But I'm going to test it here and um, you'll notice something that the the hot spicy food that I made in the Kakariko village I'm gonna eat it normally it would work but here it tells you right there you get 12 minutes 30 so I'm gonna eat it and you'll notice it says the air has become very cold you'll take damage even with your current food and clothes so it won't work here in this part of the game in this in this mountain area because it's too cold it's, the temperature here is extreme so um, you'll notice even though I've eaten the um, hot food that I just made I'm still losing damage so I'm gonna fast travel somewhere else where it does work and um, there's certain parts of the game where it's not too cold hot food will protect you and this is one of them so as you can see I've, I've got cold resistance it says I've got four minutes left of the food that I've been eating and you'll notice that I'm not losing any energy so I can use it in this part of the area because it's not too cold, it's not high up in the mountains. Um, but in some parts of the game, like the mountain area where I was just now, you need um, you need like some sort of body armor or different clothing basically to protect yourself from the cold. But yeah, that's just how detailed this game is. You know, it, you know, it's, it's very detailed. So, and that's one of the things we love about this game. It's um, it's a game of survival, so yeah, it's a, it's a great game. So yeah, let me know in the comment section, guys, if you found this video useful. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.